Hello and welcome to this video, where we will be exploring the issue of low housing supply in the UK and its impact on the economy. The UK housing market has been a topic of discussion for many years, with issues such as increasing house prices and affordability concerns affecting many people across the country. In recent years, the issue of low housing supply has emerged as a key challenge facing the UK housing market. This has led to a range of economic impacts, which we will be discussing in this video. We will also explore possible solutions to address this challenge, including government intervention and private sector investment. By the end of this video, we hope to provide you with a deeper understanding of how low housing supply is affecting the UK economy and what can be done to address this issue. So, let's get started. To understand the issue of low housing supply, it's important to have some background on the UK housing market. The UK housing market has a long history of fluctuating between periods of growth and decline. In recent years, the market has been marked by rising house prices and a lack of affordable housing, particularly in urban areas. In addition to rising house prices, there are other factors that contribute to the housing crisis in the UK. For instance, the demand for housing has been increasing due to population growth, immigration, and an aging population. Meanwhile, the supply of housing has failed to keep up with demand, resulting in a shortage of affordable homes, particularly for low-income households. Low housing supply is a key issue facing the UK housing market. It refers to a situation where the number of homes being built or made available for sale or rent is insufficient to meet the demand from prospective buyers or renters. Low housing supply has had a range of economic impacts on the UK, including Increase in house prices when there are more people looking to buy houses than there are houses available, prices tend to rise. This makes it harder for people to buy their own homes, particularly for first-time buyers, and can lead to people being priced out of the housing market altogether. Decrease in affordability of housing, rising house prices also make it harder for people to afford to rent a home, as landlords tend to increase their rental prices to reflect the higher costs of buying a property. Reduced consumer spending, when people are paying more for housing, they have less money to spend on other things. This can lead to a reduction in consumer spending, which can have a negative impact on the wider economy. Difficulty for businesses to attract and retain employees, when housing is unaffordable, it can make it harder for businesses to attract and retain employees, particularly those on lower incomes. This can lead to businesses having to pay higher wages to compensate for the increased cost of living, which can in turn lead to higher prices for goods and services. Inadequate supply of housing to meet demand, leading to an increase in homelessness. When there aren't enough homes available to meet demand, it can lead to people being homeless or living in inadequate housing. This can have a range of negative impacts on their health and well-being, as well as on the wider community. These impacts demonstrate the importance of addressing the issue of low housing supply in the UK, both for individuals and for the wider economy. In the next section, we will explore some possible solutions to this challenge. Possible solutions to low housing supply in the UK include Government intervention – The UK government could introduce policies to encourage more housebuilding, such as offering tax incentives to developers, relaxing planning regulations, or investing in affordable housing projects. Encouraging private sector investment – Private investors could be incentivized to invest in housing developments, either by offering them tax breaks or other financial incentives. Increasing the pace of new housing development – Local authorities could work to speed up the planning process for new housing developments, making it easier for developers to build new homes quickly. Promoting alternative housing options, such as shared living and micro-apartments, alternative housing options could help to make housing more affordable and increase the supply of homes available. In conclusion, low housing supply has had a range of negative impacts on the UK economy, including rising house prices, reduced affordability of housing, reduced consumer spending, difficulty for businesses to attract and retain employees, and an increase in homelessness. It is important that action is taken to address this issue, and there are a range of possible solutions that could be implemented, including government intervention, encouraging private sector investment, increasing the pace of new housing development, and promoting alternative housing options. By working together, we can ensure that everyone has access to safe, secure, and affordable housing, and that the UK economy can continue to grow and thrive.